Hi, this is Karen and welcome to another video of It's a Crafty Christmas. Um, this is the video series where we're making some very quick and easy um, Christmas cards for you to send out to family and friends. And at the moment we're featuring the Cookie Cutter Christmas Bundle which is this one. You get the stamp set and the punch and you save when, when you buy them together, you save 10%. This is the bundle. There is also another stamp set you can buy that will match this punch called a Cookie Cutter Halloween. It's in the uh, holiday catalogue that's just come out from Stampin' Up. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you would like a catalogue, please let me know and I will send a catalogue out to you as soon as I can. Now, okay, uh, today we're going to be using our gingerbread man and the gingerbread punch. This is the second video I have made of this card. I don't have the sample, I can't find it anywhere. This is the card I just finished making, or the, the topper I just finished making. As you can see, I smudged it, so we're starting again. Okay. And I've just realized I didn't have my scrap. So to begin with, what we're going to do is using crumb cake ink, I'm going to stamp our little fella out. Just here. So he's in crumb cake. So we can now pop that away. And I'll just give this stamp a wipe over, just a quick one, and we will let him dry for a moment. And I'm going to bring back in our layering weight card. Layering weight, there's two different types of Whisper White cardstock now. We've got the layering weight, which is the original Whisper White, and we've also got a Whisper White thick, which is ideal for card bases. Okay, now I've brought in the Sahara Sand ink, and this is where we start stamping our layer. So we're going to have our little fella in going in all different directions. And now that I've stamped two in Sahara Sand, I'm coming in with Soft Suede and I'm going to stamp another two. I didn't bother clearing, cleaning off my stamp because I've gone from a lighter ink to a darker ink. So there we go. We've now got two and I'm being very careful because this is how I smudged the card before. The Sahara Sand, no, the Soft Suede is very inky. Okay, so that's those four. And now the last two are done in Early Espresso. So we do one there. And just do another one over to the side there. Gorgeous. He's all stamped out nicely. So we can pop those ones away. And then we bring out the sentiment, which is also in the kit, in the stamp set. And this one reads, wishing you a season as sweet and joyful as the friendship we share. Now I'm just going to stamp this in real red. Straight down, straight up, beautiful. Okay, we've almost actually finished this layer. Now these are the twine from Candy Cane Lane. You get two in the pack. I think it's $10.95 from memory and they go on forever in a day. Okay, so what we do, we're going to wrap this around three times and then tie it off just into a simple knot. What have I done with my scissors? There they are. Sorry about that. Okay, so we'll move him out the way. So you can see I'm still damp here from when I had to clean it off before. Okay, so a quick and simple knot on the front of the card here. Now watch how cack handed I can get, making just a simple knot look as difficult as possible. Okay, snip those ends off and then we'll bring in our little gingerbread man that was stamped out in the crumb, cra crumb cake and we're going to pop him sitting on top there. I did already punch out a bow, 
So I'm just going to use the edge of a dimensional from here just to pop that. Add in, oh, I think it's a bit even. That's a bit too big. Let's see. No, there we go. Okay, so we'll just pop that. under his chin like so. Now bringing in our basic pearls we're going to, I've got Copic colorers if you've got um, any of the alcohol based coloring pens you can just give those a quick color. We need two black ones see as long as you have some alcohol markers in your stash you can have as many whoops different colored pearls as your heart desires this one's going wandering all over the paper making it very difficult so there we go we'll just give him a little paint that one's come off as well there we go okay just bring in my craft knife. I'm going to lift him up and move him over to the eye there and just using the top of my pen to keep him in place so that my fingers don't smudge the black off. It's always handy to have something else to guide you when you're doing this so that you don't smudge just hold that in place and there we go he's got his eyes on now for his little buttons down his jacket one just doesn't want to come up now there we go it wouldn't hold still a minute ago and now it doesn't want to move there we go okay oh and another one's jumping off at me Okay, we'll pop those to the side, and there we go. He's almost finished. So all we do, flip him over, like so. Now, I just want to put a couple of dimensionals on either side of the um, twine there. Peel the backing off like so and then we'll just pop him over the top like that and there we go I'll just trim these down a little bit more because they're sticking up in the way there we go and then we'll bring our card base in all the measurements for these different pieces of cardstock can be found on my blog if I haven't mentioned that before or if you haven't seen any of my videos before that's where all the dimensions can be found and there we go all I've got to do now is pop the rest of this layer up on dimensionals now I just want to pop one on either side of the twine so that I know it's not going to sag in them if I send it through the mail. And I'm not even going to bother taking the backing off of the middle ones because the outer ones will hold it in place. The middle ones are purely there to stop it from sagging. Okay, so there we go. And there's our card all finished. Just move those out the way. I don't have a sample card to bring in. Of course, you could put another piece inside there and just have another little fella poking up from the side. But there you go. I hope you liked today's card and that you'll join us again next Monday, 7.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time. And um, yeah, have a great week.
don't forget Fridays I have Friday Frenzy. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.